Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by DraftKings. College football fans, the latest and greatest offer from DraftKings is here. And it's going to have you fired up to win big the second you make your first wager. Right now at DraftKings, all new customers get $200 in bonus bets when they place their first $5 wager. And right now you can sign up for that by visiting DraftKings website, setting up an account, and using code Cletus. I know a lot of you guys are just like us. You like betting on things. You like competition. So right now you can get $200 in bonus bets when you place any $5 wager on DraftKings. That even includes DraftKings same game parlays where you can combine multiple bets for an even bigger payout. And if sports betting is not available in your state yet, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings daily fantasy offerings across all sports. With college football getting fired up, guys, it's time to download DraftKings. Like I said, guys, any $5 wager gets you 200 bucks in bonus bets as long as you use code Cletus when you sign up for your DraftKings account. Thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget code Cletus. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. Well, guys, hurricanes here. A lot of flooding going on. Heading to the shop right now. I use the toter as a generator at my house. The power goes out, but it looks like the storm is through and we're clear, so... We're gonna have some gaps in the weather. Hopefully we can go get this thing hooked up to the trailer and ready to head up to Bristol. Should be a wild Crown Vic appearing here in a moment. There it is. Oh, with an intake pipe on it. That's what I like to see. But we should be all right. We're getting ready to head to Bristol. <laughs> It actually doesn't drive that bad. I didn't touch the gas. Like, it just the clutch. <laughs> it's surging a little bit. Dude, neighbor's like, man, I, I got a spot back in the nice trailer. What did I do? Dude, this thing is way different. The steering's good. The clutch yeah. is good. We need to do a little bit with the front end that I tore up last yeah. event. Dave will fix that. It'll be all right. All right. Well, we got the toter loaded, but uh, Hurricane is upon us. All right, you ready? Are you going for that? I think oh. we're going for it. All right, let's see it. Oh no! He's tough. This is so. He's tough. Sam, I have a good idea. Yep. Hop in. No, no, you don't need that. Hop in. Oh. We're dri we'll drive it over. We cheated. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you in the truck. <laughs> hey guys, just wanted to tell you that it is the morning after the hurricane has come through. Everything looks pretty good around here. We have no serious damage just a lot of water the storm ended up going pretty much west of us so. so northern florida is getting hit pretty good right now hopefully everyone up there is good i'm in my front yard right now this is this is the front yard and uh it is definitely pretty bald so we didn't get that bad of wind we just got kind of smoke with a lot of hard rain so everything's fine for the most part and only half my yard is flooded so i'll take it. i don't think my yard was this flooded after the uh, hurricane last year it's 40. hey guys really quick one hop on here if you're not making it out to bristol this weekend you can watch both days of our events live on baldeagle.com and the tune in time for saturday is 5 p.m we have a very special announcement that will be in the very beginning of the stream but the burnout contest starts at 5 p.m eastern so be ready on baldeagle.com and then on sunday for the pennzoil bristol 1000 you'll want to be on at 2 p.m that's when the tour of destruction starts and then all the activities are to follow so 2 p.m sunday 5 p.m friday baldeagle.com you know the deal let's get back to the action guys as you can probably guess you know hovercraft really gets my wife aroused <laughs> really does she's laughing but you know it's true so I like to get it out every once in a while. I don't ride it a ton. And as you can see, show them the pond real quick. Endure a little bit of wind noise, you guys. Pond's full. Just had the hurricane come through last night, so we're dialed in for a good hurricane rip. We gotta get the scat out. I haven't fired her up in a couple of months, but I'm sure it's gonna run perfect. It always does, so. I think it's got a good bit of fuel in it. Probably pretty old fuel, but let's see if it'll start. Watch 
work. This is where it all went bad. I tried to just pull up and do my normal stop, but I didn't realize there was so much water in this part of the yard, the hovercraft just wouldn't stop. Now, being a jet boat enthusiast, I know very well to floor it and turn. Same thing applies to a hovercraft, but by the time I made that decision, it was too freaking late. Ah, shit. God dang it, it didn't stop. Why didn't I throttle down? I was just trying to uh, get out of the rain and I hear this big smack. <laughs> oh no. Damn it. Tire on 
one side. Okay. <laughs> I saw you do a scorpion. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Holy crap, normally it just glides <laughs> right on the land. I let off and it just dug. Yeah. Oh. Holy God. What a bad decision. Understand. I, uh, I can't believe I just crashed the hovercraft. <laughs> did you crash over there? What did I you do? Out of the <laughs> I thought you ripped the skirt. I was dying. I uh, I should probably quit hovercrafting for the day. Oh, yeah. Damn, I thought that was gonna go a lot different. I thought I was gonna have a beautiful ride. <laughs> you were... I hit the fence and then I scorpioned over the top of it. Damn. <laughs> I might have to retire from hovercrafting. You might have to remove it from your Instagram bio. Holy crap. <laughs> You're not the enthusiast you thought. Now, ah, what the hell is that? Wow, I mean, normally I ride this thing with a hard edge on the pond. I thought if I just coasted right into that puppy, I'd be fine. Maybe uh, when I lost some of the structural integrity of the hovercraft by hitting the fence, I then uh, didn't have the front lift I'm used to causing me to nose diver out of the pond do a scorpion can we assess the damage I guess. not on you i mean i lost a croc you look like you got bit look, on I got no croc i don't even know where my croc is <laughs> oh my god yeah she's This is from the fence. Oh, okay. So maybe this was blown out totally that time. <laughs> yeah, because I saw this oh, flapping. Look. My croc didn't even move. <laughs> it's right where it was. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm really glad I was wearing a helmet. Yeah, honestly, I was thinking about it. I'm like, this dork is wearing a helmet on his hovercraft. I am an idiot. No. I am smart. an idiot. You wore your protection. Your Luckily, I had this on, but I just want to say that I am an idiot. I'm going to get the hovercraft fixed properly before I ride it again. Hitting the fence was, a, you know, enough of a kick in the nuts. Then crashing it was just, you know, all hovercrafts telling me, putting me in my place. I mean, I've been riding hovercrafts for two years now. No incidents. It can happen like that, folks. I'm done, dude. What an idiot. I mean, that's just a little environment. Yeah, but this whole thing, you're gonna have to redo this. Oh yeah, because look, there's just air escaping right here. So probably when I got on the front of the pond, it was riding fine across the pond. I figured I could probably do my normal like half throttle and just kind of coast out of the pond. But maybe because I didn't have that normal front lift, she just snapped. You were actually going really fast. I'm, I was impressed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm an idiot. This video's over, dude. Thank you for giving your entertainment because I laughed way too hard at this.